What's up everybody, welcome back to WL Gaming and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up your PlayStation 5 to your Elgato HD60S Plus to your Mac. So stay tuned. We're gonna go over the equipment needed for this setup. First thing we need is an Elgato HD60S Plus. Second thing we'll need is a PlayStation 5. The third thing is your Mac. And the fourth thing is the OBS software. Go ahead and download it, it's for free. The fifth thing you'll need is a TV or monitor. I'm gonna be using this monitor. The sixth thing you'll need is two HDMI cords. The seventh thing you need is this USB to USB-C cord. It comes with your Elgato HD 60S Plus when you buy it. So keep this cord, don't get rid of it. You need one microphone. The ninth thing you'll need is a second microphone. The reason why you need a second one is to record the chat when you play with other people. So if you're playing duos, trios, or squads in Fortnite, for example, this is gonna be the mic that you use to talk with them. And the 10th and final thing you need is a pair of headphones. Okay, so first things first, make sure you have your Mac and your PlayStation 5 hooked up into your router. I have both of these yellow cords going to my router. You want the best internet connection when you're gonna be streaming. The first plug for the PlayStation 5 is gonna be the HDMI, and it's going to the Elgato into the in. Into the in, okay? This one is the out, and it's going to your TV. And you can see those white lights that were flashing right now. That means that it has power, which is this third one, the USB-C, which comes with the Elgato. And it's going to come over here into the back of my Mac. So the next two things that I'm going to plug to my Mac are my headphones and my Blue Yeti microphone that I'm going to be using. So if you're playing solo, then you're going to plug it into your Mac. If you're going to be playing squads, you're still plugging this into your Mac. And I'll show you what to do with the next microphone. So this one microphone has to be into your Mac. The same thing with your headphones. So here's my gaming headphones, and then here is my microphone. I am not, I repeat, I am not plugging in my headphones into my Elgato. There's an auxiliary port here. I am not putting it there. We're going to be just fine. Lastly, we need to take this secondary microphone and plug it into the front of the PlayStation 5. This is so I can talk to my teammates when I play duos, trios, or squads. This, I'm gonna be talking to this and they're gonna hear me through this. Whereas that one is gonna be for my stream, um, all my Twitch followers. When I talk, they can hear me through there. Nothing is going into your controller. In the past, I've seen videos where it says you need a male to female aux splitter. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug in an aux cord to that your headphones to the, to the other one. So one will be your aux, one will be your headphones, and then you hook that up to your Elgato. Well, I tried that and it did not work. So what is working is this setup that I'm telling you guys. So if you have this stuff, you don't need it for this video. I don't know if it's a Mac issue or if it's a Windows, but you don't need it, okay? So keep following and you're gonna be just fine. So there's actually a couple of settings that we need to change on your PlayStation 5 in order for all this to work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you need to do is go to settings, go to your system, go down to HDMI, go down to enable HDCP and make sure it looks like this. Then we will leave this, we'll hit the quick button on the PlayStation, the quick menu, and we'll go to sound. We want our output device to say HDMI device TV and we want our microphone to say whatever our microphone is. For me, it's the USB microphone blue snowball. You do not want it on the controller. You do not want it on the DualSense wireless controller. You want it on your microphone. All right, so I just wanna reiterate, you only need the one microphone if you're playing solo, if you're playing Call of Duty, you're playing Madden, you're playing God of War, you only wanna hear your voice, it's only gonna be that one. But if you're playing a team, game and you want to hear your team then you need a second microphone and you have to plug it into your playstation 5. next i'm going to show you how to set this up in obs before we do make sure you like this video and subscribe to my gaming channel all right so this is what your obs should look like blank 
So we're gonna come down here to scenes and we're gonna go ahead and hit the plus sign and then this screen will pop up. So we're gonna add a scene. So just name it, whatever you wanna name it. Scene three, whatever you wanna do. Ours will be scene three, okay? So there it is now. And there, now we need to add some sources. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna hit the add. We're gonna go to the video capture device. This screen will pop up. And we're gonna go ahead, we could just leave that. Or we can rename it Elgato. Okay, I'm gonna name mine Elgato HD. Hit okay. So I'm going to click this one and then I'm going to see it pop up. And there it is. Now I'm going to change the preset to 1080p because that's my resolution that I want. You notice it goes to full screen. So that's exactly what we want. Let's go ahead and hit okay. Now we wanna use our camera. Now I'm gonna use the web camera. If you have a camera, then you would see it in this list. So you're gonna hit add, video capture device, click here. This screen will pop up and I'm gonna put webcam. Okay, if you had a camera, you would just name it that camera, Logitech or whatever it is, DSLR. So you hit okay. Now this screen pops up. We're gonna come down here to devices and we're gonna click the FaceTime HD camera. Boom. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit my resolution and I'm gonna hit okay. So there I am filming my stuff. So now you see that there's a red border along this and you see that it replaced my other scene. That's all right. So since this has a red border, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the top and I'm gonna make it small. Uh, right there's fine. And then you could drag this wherever you want. I'll just leave it right there. So now this is it. We're, we're moving along just great. So next, you notice that this popped up. When I made my Elgato scene, let me zoom in here for you. When I did the Elgato HD as my source, my audio mixer gameplay audio source automatically showed up here. That's exactly what we want. But I want my Blue Yeti as well, right? So I can talk to my Twitch streamers so it's not just my mouth moving and they can only hear the game. Because right now, this is only the game. So let me come down here, click add, input capture, and you already see I have it here, blue Yeti chat for stream. So I'll just hit blue again, so you know. So blue, I'll hit okay. Now it's gonna want me to choose. So I'm gonna choose and click this. So HD, no, there it is, Yeti stereo microphone. So click that, and then I'm gonna come down here and hit okay. So now, well, my, my microphone is muted, but once I unclick this, you're gonna see that my um, Blue Yeti is gonna start talking, so watch. And now you see it. Make sure you subscribe to WL Gaming. See that? So now it's catching my voice. So now this is everything that you could possibly want. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what my scene looks like when I actually stream. So I'm gonna click on my in-game scene that I already have which is this, and I actually have my webcam hidden. So I'm gonna click that button and there I am again. I'll go ahead and hide that again so we don't see myself. Okay, there might be any settings that you might have to change will be this one. I'll show you my settings just so you have an idea. Okay, so when I set up stream labs and stream elements and all that, I have my alerts, monitor off, my Blue Yeti chat for stream, is monitor off, my chat is monitor only, and then my gameplay audio source is monitor and output. And just like that, you're all set. I'll go ahead and show you my other scene that I have, and I'll show you the settings that I have for that one as well. So you can see here. So you get an idea of how you wanna do it. My alerts, so when someone subscribes, monitor off, Blue Yeti, chat for, uh, Blue Yeti chat for stream, monitor off, and then gameplay audio source, monitor and output. Because I output, I want it to come into my um, headphones and I want it to go output. So to hear all this, I need to put my headphones on, turn them on, and I'll be able to hear everything from the game, everything that I'm talking about, and then when someone follows or subscribes and something, my little um, GIF pops up, I'll be able to hear all that from here. 
So if I play with my team, I'm gonna go ahead and place this right here in front of my monitor. So that way I can talk. They'll hear me, right? I'm playing. They can hear me talking. I can see that. And I got that going on. This is for my stream and I have my headphones on. So this is exactly how you do it. We'll do a quick recap of everything that's plugged in. So we'll start with this monitor. First thing, we have this monitor plugged in HDMI to the out of the HD60S Plus Elgato capture uh, device. All right, and then we have the HDMI from the input going straight to the PS5, which I have back here. I have my PS5 also hooked up directly into my internet. Okay, this last cord I have going into my Mac right on the other side of this. Okay, and then these other two down here, I have my Blue Yeti and then my headphones. And we'll, we'll travel back up here. So I have my Blue Yeti and my, my Blue Yeti and then my headphones. And then this microphone, if you're playing with somebody else and you want to include them, then this is hooked up to my PlayStation 5. Now, if you don't have a second microphone, but you want to talk to other people, it's not going to work. You must have a second microphone. So if you just absolutely refuse to get a second microphone, what will happen is you're going to have them talking to you through this microphone because you don't have another one. And then you're going to be talking to them. But you have to remember, Twitch is not going to get that audio. There's nothing connecting that audio to Twitch. And then you're going to have your headphones on. So you're going to have to take one earmuff off so you can hear the gameplay through your computer. And then you're going to talk to them through the controller. Or you're going to unplug your headphones from the Mac and you're going to put it into your controller so you can hear them and you can talk to them. But now you can't hear or see what's going on of, uh, with your computer. It's not connected at that point. Okay. I've done those. It doesn't work. This is what works. So if you want to include your party's chat, maybe there's something going on that's really funny, or you just want to include that. So you get a more well-rounded stream. It's not just quiet with you talking to your audience. It's you talking with your cousin or your kids or whoever, then you definitely want to have a second microphone so you can talk and hear them. And then you're going to be able to broadcast that as well. Now, one thing about this microphone, there's no mute. So if someone walks in and they're saying something inappropriate, well, it's going to get streamed and everyone's going to hear and see it. So what you have to do is you have to hit the mute on your controller. Okay. I found that out the hard way. You have to mute it on your controller. So if I mute this, boom, my team can't hear what I'm saying, which is good. Okay, they can't hear, but your stream will still hear it. So be careful what you guys say. So because I want this video to be so thorough for you guys, with this whole setup, I'm going to live stream and I'm going to include that live stream's link in the description. So that way you can see that some random person confirmed exactly what I was saying. This whole setup's working. If you have everything set up just like me, you're gonna be just fine, all right? If you found this video helpful, then drop a like and comment. Any questions that you have, leave it in the comment section below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys. And then I will also in the description leave all the links to all the equipment that I have in case there is something specific that you wanted. You can just click on there and go and get it. But good luck streaming and I hope you uh, found this video helpful.